So, I thought I would uh, do a real quick video here. I've talked about this before, but it's important. Um, moving horses around. Uh, four out of six horses are in different places here right now. And I've talked about it before, and I think this is important. I don't know a lot of places that do it. Actually, I don't really know of any places that really do it. I mean, here and there, changing pastures or something. But when you have living spaces, hello, Gracie. Um, it's important that, uh, I believe it's important, that you sort of switch things up when you can. So Gracie's gonna go around and make sure all the weeds are taken care of. So she's my weed eater. She's very good at it. Lena's still here. I decided to keep her here, uh, mainly because I didn't want to put her in another spot and I wanted Ruli to change up from where she was at the back of Luke. So Ruli is here, seemingly happily. Everybody's chowing down, I, fresh hay for everybody. Now the good thing about Gracie and Peggy is they mostly get along. And I actually think, considering the um, personalities or behaviors or sort of the social needs that a horse needs, um, I think it's important to sort of switch things up um, so that they can all sort of get something from somewhere else. They can see things from a different perspective. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting for the horses themselves instead of always only having one place. That said though, I do think that horses can be a little bit territorial and they'll want to sort of protect their own space. But our guys don't. I don't believe. I don't even know if they do that in the first place. I'm making an assumption, maybe. But I do think that there is something there. And as such, uh, my philosophy is to... Roni's still here though. I gotta admit, I didn't move him. Like I said, four out of six have moved. Uh, and Luke is in this forward paddock of the back two because um, the back paddock, so there's another thing, you have to consider the environment. Sometimes your packs get wasted. I mean, horses are, <laughs> horses are pretty destructive. Hey buddy, that's a little bit of hay sticking out of your mouth. You're my perfectly redneck horse. <laughs> Um, so I'll make this kind of quick, but uh, um, the environment as well, the, the, this paddock is in great condition. As you can see, I totally cleaned this place out and uh, there'll be a video. I've just noticed my exposure is too high. Watch. There, that's normal. Hm. Uh, there'll be a video that uh, um, will, I mean, chronologically happened before this video. And uh, this place is a mess, but it's all cleaned up now. So this paddock is in great condition, terrific condition, other than this little area here that's getting a little bit worn out. Um, and then there are a couple of holes kind of thing that I have to get to, but for the most part, it's good. The back paddock where Luke is um, has seen better days, seen worse days too. I gotta admit, I had uh, three horses back there couple of winters ago and uh, just got trashed. I mean, so the environment is very important to think about if you're ever going to get your own place and keep horses, you got to understand that they trash the place. They're like your worst, you know, roommate that you didn't really want, but they, you know, they paid their bills maybe a little bit and you're like, why is this place such a mess? Well, that's horses. So this one doesn't necessarily need a break, um, but it's empty. I might move Luke up here, to be honest and um, put them in here to give the back area a full... Wow! Birds are... Anyhow, um, give it a full break. So it's not just, you know, whether or not a horse needs or should change. Spider webs. Um, socially, uh, physically, they might not be able to handle... Say, for example, this one's got quite the grade to it, purposefully. Uh, the horse has to go all the way downhill to go get their water and all the way back up. It's good exercise. Really could use a little exercise here and there. Every horse can, but that's fine for her. A horse that doesn't have the physical abilities to do that so well, the rehabbing or something, a nice flat paddock like this. Great idea. It's dry. It's good. <laughs> Ironically, Lena could use the most exercise, but whatever. Um, and then the social needs. So. Where will Ruli be comfortable? When we had um, Callie here, who just left a couple days ago, or yesterday, 
when she was here, Ruli didn't like it. So I put Ruli with Luke. So that kind of flexibility, I think, is super important when you're going to have a bunch of horses hanging around with each other. And uh, essentially, they're living in an apartment building. And you're like, well, do I like my neighbor? Do I like my roommate? Stuff we think about. Anyhow, so everybody's changed up. Oh, there's the dog. Zeus, what do you got? Where's the mouse? <laughs> He's been pretty good. He's been sniffing around for that pear bear. Or the pear bears. Check this out. Look at this mushroom. Isn't that cool? It's just neat. I don't know where these things come from. I'm not uh, my ecologist. But we've got a lot of mushrooms around here. So that's, uh, that's sort of everything in a nutshell in that. I know I've said it before, but I thought it's kind of a good reminder. Um, yeah, horse behaviors, horse needs, social needs, food needs, water needs, exercise needs. Um, and then the environment, whether or not a, a paddock needs a break or needs a break from a particular kind of horse. So there you go. Hopefully that's been useful. I'm going to get on with the day. It's a little cloudy. Not much. Very mild out in a t-shirt. Kind of warm working, so it's good. Waiting for roofing. Still waiting for roofing. Oh, it's a little windy, so the tarp's kind of blowing up. But you guys will see that in the next video tomorrow. Talk to you then.